Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about the mini Lady Dior handbag and this stunning handbag has slowly become one of my favorites in my entire collection. Let me just get it for you. Mine is in this beautiful lotus pearlescent color and it's the most amazing pink with pearlescent look and gold not gold, champagne gold hardware. It does have the flap to open it and it's quite tiny and petite, but I can still fit quite a good amount of the basic essentials. It has the beautiful shoulder strap and it's this beautiful chain and it is detachable but not adjustable. I find that this bag can work as an everyday or evening out bag and the flap opening is quite handy because it makes it easy to access in and out. I must say though that this color or the finishing of the color is very delicate. I do have a scratch, it's the tiniest scratch on it there, it's visible up close. I'll try and insert some close-ups so you can see properly but other than that I don't have any wear and tear. You do have the Dior charm in the front here and four feet at the bottom. At the back it's plain. It only has CD engraving on the metal hardware there and the handles are comfortable enough to wear it in the crook of your arm and also the drop is big enough to do that. I do wear it either top handle or crossbody. I find that it crossbodies perfectly in my frame and the handles don't get in the way as much. I'll insert some mod shots of me wearing it and I'm obsessed with Lady Dior since I got this handbag. The measurements of the handbag are 17 across, 15 centimeters height and then 7 centimeters depth and it does retail currently for 3200 euros. I'll insert the other currencies here and it's a bit of an expensive bag but for the quality and the craftsmanship behind it I think it's worth it. You can also find depending on the size of the Lady Dior you're looking for good deals in the pre-loved market and the mini is now getting more popular. I did buy mine pre-loved and I paid I believe um, almost a thousand euros below retail price. No, I lie. 800, 800, 700 euros below retail price. It was quite a good deal and it was in perfect brand new condition. So if you do look and research, you might find a very good deal. I think it's worth it none of the less. If you buy it brand new or pre-loved, it's such a beautiful, beautiful handbag. I do have the ABC Lady Dior there. Do comment down below if you want me to do a comparison video of both of the handbags. I I prefer this one to be honest. It's more cute and dainty and delicate uh, but I do also love that one. The nude is a beautiful color but bear in mind it is a delicate handbag especially on the top handles. I can find two scratches already or two little uh, marks, not visible scratches, but little marks and I've only had it for a couple of months and I haven't worn that that much so I'm quite careful with it now and I'm afraid if I do wear it across the body that I might have some color transfer so I bear in mind just to wear it with lighter colors when I do that but yes, I am so 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 in love with this little handbag it's taken my heart. It's a masterpiece. I find that Dior has one of the most best quality per price. It's you can see it's although it's tiny and it's not heavy, but it's robust and resistant. Although it's delicate at the same time, I can't really explain it. But my fascination for Dior started with these two handbags, and I do plan on ha adding more from the fashion house to my collection because I really really admire them now and it's stunning stunning stunning. 
I'll show you what fits inside. So to show you what comfortably fits inside, I have my essentials in there. I'm gonna start with something that nowadays it's a must, which is our hand sanitizer gel. I do advise to make sure you have a bottle that will fully close and won't spill any of your gel into your handbag or carry it in a plastic bag. If you're not 100% sure, it won't do that. Just a little <laughs> advice because I have had one spill in my handbag and God forbid I'll have it again. So the second one that I have here is my card holder. The, oh, sorry. This one is my Bulgari card holder and it's quite a nice fit for the mini handbags. And let's see, what else do I have here? I have my pochette clé or key pouch from Louis Vuitton. You can have either your keys or any essentials that you need to carry. And I also have a spare mask, some tissue paper and some band-aids. What else do we have? Next, I have got my sunglasses. Let me just put the bag down so I can show you. They are my aviator style sunglasses. They are from Gucci and they are perfect size for mini handbags. Putting those down there. And I also have, which I can feel moving around now that the bag is empty my iPhone oh, sorry <laughs> I just got a text my iPhone it's the 11 Pro not the max the normal size and it does fit either standing up or lying down comfortably in the handbag and you don't have to angle it to take it out of your handbag you can just pull it out and it's quite comfortable fit as you can see there and also you can just stand it up and it still will close the flap so it's very good fit if you have the regular size iPhone not the Max and last but not least in the bottom there I have a mini lipstick from Fenty Beauty I adore these little lip glosses in a mini size so you can put it on your handbag again make sure it's properly closed when you put them there because my mini pochette doesn't fit that comfortably in this bag well it does fit but that's pretty much all you can fit just the um, mini pochette and <laughs> pair of sunglasses and I don't find that practical so I do throw my things around there. I forgot to mention that you do have a little zipped compartment there. It's not very easy to access but I believe you could put some cards in there. Let me just check. So if you want to have more space available, let me see if you can put some cards in there. Whether they fit standing up. Let us see if you can... Yes. It takes some maneuvering, but you can lie them down and even zip the compartment. So your cards and your cash could be secured there. It's easy enough to access, I think. Yes, it's not that difficult to take out a card if you need to pay for something. So yes. That's that's an option that I haven't thought about. You could use that as your wallet. Have everything that you need in terms of cash and your cards inside of that zip compartment and have something in the place of your card holder. That's quite handy. And if you close the zip, you make sure that all your money and all your cards are secure. So that was something that I just figured out with you. So that's great, amazing. That's it my darlings, that's all on this beautiful mini Lady Dior. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Do leave in the comments down below 
what's your favorite handbag from Dior? Do you have a Lady Dior? Is it on your wish list? If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, all that jazz, and I'll see you, my darlings, in the next one. Mwah.